Sir, good morning, sir. Sit down. What is precordium? Sir, precordium is the so it is the anterior chest wall which overlies the heart. Uh, it is uh, usually convex. Uh, it can be bulged if um, there is uh, any uh, overlying uh, uh, long duration cardiac disease. If there is any tumor, if there is pericardial effusion or pleural effusion, it can be flat uh, if uh, <clears throat> uh, if it is ad adherent to the. Um, if, uh, if there is some fibrosis of the lung, if there is some congenital heart uh, deformity or if there is some adherent pericarditis, then it can be flat. When do you get loud S1? So, uh, we get um, uh, S1 is because of uh, uh, S1 is because of uh, closure of uh, mitral valve and uh, tricuspid valve, so M1, M2. So, if uh, uh, this has to be loud, then um, M, M or T will have to close uh, loudly, sir. So, it has to be um, when mitral valve closes loudly. So, because of um, uh, uh, because of uh, stenosis of the valve, sir, mitral stenosis or tricuspid stenosis, if there is um, uh, hyperkinetic circulation, if there is, um, and in children it is normal, sir. Normally, in, uh, it is loud in children. When do you get soft S1? So, soft S1 again, uh, no, mitral valve and tricuspid valve will have to close softly, sir. So, it will have to be um, mitral, uh, they have, the valves are weak, sir. So, it has to be a incompetence of mitral valve or tricuspid incompetence. Incompetence will cause soft. Or if there is a uh, obesity, sir, obesity, if these valves are calcified again, it can be soft. If there is a thick chest wall, emphysema also, it can be soft. If there is heart block also, it can be soft. So, uh, prolonged PR interval, bradycardia. Yes, sir, and even in mitral regurgitation, sir, because the valve is, uh, mitral valve is weak, sir, we can see soft S1 in acute mitral regurgitation, soft S1. What is opening snap? Opening snap, sir, is the sound that comes after S2 uh, when uh, the mitral and tricuspid valves open. So, uh, the op uh, opening snap, sir, it is the sound that comes after S2. It is caused by the opening of the uh, mitral and tricuspid valve. So, what are the pathological types of MS? Uh, the types of pathological types of uh, mitral stenosis, sir. So, we have this uh, buttonhole and uh, uh, fish mouth uh, appearance funnel type of uh, mitral stenosis. Which chamber of heart fails first in MS? Uh, which chamber of the heart fails uh, first in uh, mitral stenosis? So the uh, mitral stenosis will cause the failure of the left atrium first, sir. Because sir, the blood will get pulled more in left atrium for, because of the stenosis and left atrium will first fail, sir. Which ventricle fails first in MS? Uh, sir, in mitral stenosis, the first ventricle to fail will be the right, at uh, right ventricle, sir. Right one will fail first because... Uh, uh, the left ventricular hypertrophy is happening, sir, but the right one is uh, will fail, sir. What murmur in MS? Sir, uh, which murmur comes in mitral stenosis, sir? We get, uh, uh, in mitral stenosis, sir, we get diastolic murmur. Uh, it will be um, um, pre-systolic accentuation, mid-diastolic murmur with pre-systolic accentuation, sir. Mid-diastolic murmur with pre-systolic accentuation. Right-sided failure. What are the cardinal signs of RVF right heart failure? Right-sided failure. So the cardinal signs of uh, uh, right-sided heart failure or uh, um, congestive cardiac failure, sir, will be uh, the uh, pulsatile neck veins, sir, engorged and pulsatile neck veins. So there'll be uh, in the neck, sir, we can see the engorged and pulsatile neck veins, sir, and the liver will be soft and large and tender, sir, and uh, there will be bilateral pitting edema and heart failure. These are the signs of the cardinal signs of heart failure. Describe different characters of the apex bead. Uh, different characters of the apex bead, sir. So the different characters of apex bead will be um, first of all, it can be normal, sir. Normal means. Uh, We'll have it in the left fifth intercostal space, um, um, medial to the uh, mid clavicular line. So this is the apex beat where we can feel normal, and um, uh, there will be a gentle, brief, gentle tap. So this can be a normal. This character can be normal, sir, or it can be uh, hyperdynamic, or it can be heaving, or tapping, or hypokinetic, sir.
so hyper dynamic hypokinetic and uh, heaving or tapping so these are the uh, characters of um, uh, different characters of the apex speed describe hyperdynamic character of the apex speed uh, sir apex speed the uh, hyperdynamic it will be if there is volume overload sir like um, a volume overload uh, we can we can see sir in um, uh, mitral insufficiency aortic insufficiency sir so whenever uh, uh, this is uh, mitral valve is insufficient like um, the mitral valve is insufficient or the aortic valve is insufficient or if there is some ventricular septal defect or if there is a patent art, a ductus arteriosus etc there is a volume overload here so there should be a volume overload here then only there can be a hyperdynamic uh, apex speed which uh, we can feel here so this is the apex we can feel there so okay uh, um what is brood bruit so what is bruit so that means the murmur is occurring at the site of the it uh, arterial stenosis so like an artery like a renal artery or a carotid artery so the murmur is occurring there sir and because of the artery being stenosis sir and uh, it is away from the heart what is ejection fraction so um, ejection fraction means um, <clears throat> the ventricle sir how much it is able to push out like the end diastolic volume <clears throat> minus the end systolic volume so divided by the end diastolic volume So diastolic minus systolic volume. Where will you see this type of murmur? So where will we see this type of murmur, sir? Like uh, this one, sir. So this is a, a systolic murmur, sir. So it is um, <clears throat> um, this is a systolic murmur. We can see it in uh, uh, aortic stenosis and also in mitral regurgitation. We can see uh, systolic murmur, but here we can see an ejection click, sir. um so there is an early ejection click so this is a, a crescendo decrescendo murmur it is a, it is a it, we can see this in aortic stenosis so this is aortic stenosis what causes of right atrial hypertrophy sir uh, what are causes of right atrial hypertrophy sir so that means right atrium uh, has to work more sir so if uh, right atrium uh, has to work more that means there should be some problem with the tricuspid valve sir there should be some stenosis of tricuspid valve um, that will be main cause of right atrial hy um, uh, hypertrophy sir the other thing uh, can be that's all sir that's all what are organic murmurs so um, organic murmurs means that there is caused actually by a structural abnormality of the heart sir that is what is uh, organic murmur so because of um, like uh, just now we saw sir ejection systolic murmur it can be because of uh, uh, aortic stenosis that itself is an organic sir then everything else also sir like um, uh, ventricular septal defect etc because of any structural defect sir what is gram steel murmur so gram gram steel murmur sir we will see it in um, the pulmonary um, valve incompetence i mean the pulmonary uh, regurgitation pulmonary regurgitation gram steel murmur so where is the pulmonary valve uh, is that here sir pulmonary valve gram steel murmur where do you see changing murmur so changing murmur we can see um, that murmur will change from uh, character or intensity from time to time so that can usually be in infective endocarditis sir it is one of the classical things of infective endocarditis it can also be seen in atrial myxoma and atrial thrombus where do you see splitting of s2 um sir uh, sir s2 is caused by a2 and p2 sir so um uh, p2 itself is already split sir like it will be early in expiration and uh, it can be early in exp expiration so this is physiological splitting sir then uh, we can have uh, a wide uh, split sir <clears throat> wide split s2 in, uh, like in atrial septal defect sir so um, in asd sir this is one of the hallmarks of uh, uh, For the hallmarks of uh, uh, ASD is this uh, split wide and fixed split, sir. So atrial septal defect, sir. So the uh, blood will uh, flow more through the pulmonary valve, sir. So it will have to move up uh, away, sir. So the P2 will move away. So we can see there is wide uh, and fixed uh, 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 splitting of uh, S2, sir. Then um, <clears throat> uh, there can be a wide but variable splitting of uh, S2 if there is um, right bundle branch block. and then there can be reverse uh, splitting of uh, 
uh, S2. So, reversed splitting of S2, we can see if uh, reverse splitting of S2. So, uh, we can see if that is P2 will be here and A2 will go forward. That is A is closing late. So, A will close late if, um, sorry, A, uh, A has to close late. No? So, so, that means A will close late if there is uh, aortic valve stenosis. So, so that can cause uh, reversed uh, split of, uh, that is paradoxical splitting of uh, S2, sir, because of aortic stenosis, severe aortic stenosis, sir. Then, uh, sir, um, Sir, actually, if this A2 and uh, P2 overlap, sir, in aortic stenosis itself, it can give single uh, S2, sir. Then it can become uh, uh, reverse split, sir. So, there can be single S2 in, even in this aortic stenosis, sir. Pulmonary stenosis also, sir. So, anything to do with uh, uh, pulmonary valve and aortic valve. Aortic stenosis, pulmonary stenosis, sir, will cause the splitting. You may leave now. Thank you, sir.